Hi, today I'm here to welcome Brandy Miller Parish. Brandy is the Environmental Education Specialist mm -hmm. for Jennings Environmental Education Center. Yes. Did I get that right? You did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brandy, how long have you been at Jennings? I have been there for 17 years. Wow. Always in this role? Um, not exactly. Okay. I have, I have increased. Kind of grown into it? <laughs> yeah, I have increased in position a little bit since I've been there. Well, that's a sign that you're doing a fantastic job. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and Brandy and I were talking before we got started today, talking about what a gem Jennings is. And I imagine that there might be some people that are going to be thinking about coming to Jennings after our interview for the first time. So let's kind of describe it to, to our viewers. Sure. So Jennings is a pretty small park. We're about 300 acres. Um, and we are very close to Slippery Rock. So we're at the intersection of Route 8 and 528. And um, we have five miles of hiking trails. And we also have the only managed and protected prairie in Pennsylvania. So that is kind of our crown jewel. And that prairie is in full bloom at the end of July and early August. So right now in the summertime is the perfect time to visit. We have five miles of hiking trails that are perfect for little legs or long legs. And we have just a whole lot for everybody to see. Yeah. And something that I learned in preparation for the interview is besides this being like the magic time to come and see the prairie, mm -hmm. right? When it's in full bloom, yeah. you offer programs at Jennings all year round. We do. We are a field trip destination. So we offer programs for preschoolers through the university level. Okay. And we also like to involve the community. Um, so we have community programs year round. Right. And you can find out more information about all of that on your website. Yes. Now I'm an educator. So I'm mm -hmm. thinking about my teacher friends out there and the students that I love that would love to come to Jennings. You are very popular. You said for field trips. So if this is something that you would like to put on your calendar, contact Brand Brandy sooner rather than later because you get booked. Yes, in January okay. is, is a good time to, to contact, contact us. And actually, our program coordinator, Miranda Crotsley, would take care of that. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So now let's talk about that very special annual event, the Celebrate the Bloom, yes. that you have at the end of July. What's the date this year? Uh, July 27th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. will be Celebrate the Bloom this year. Okay. And it's 10 years, right? This is our 10th year. So it technically started in 2013. However, we had a small break due to the pandemic. Sure. So this will be our 10th year. All right. And I'm sure this event has grown over the years. Yeah, it has. So we typically get between 700 and 1,000 people throughout the day. Oh, excellent. So as far as uh, festivals go, it's a smaller one. It's a more intimate experience, but it's still a, a very treasured one for the area. Okay. So you definitely want to attend this year. Now let's talk and make sure that our viewers are mm -hmm. understanding what's going to happen that day. Kind of give sure. them some tips. Sure. First, we recommend that you park at the Old Stone House. Yes, we'll have parking at the Old Stone House where we'll shuttle everybody over to the festival. We will have some limited parking in the parking area by the center as well. Okay. And we will have people parking, um, directing you uh, when you arrive. Um, we also have walks happening um, on every hour of the event starting at 9 a.m. Um, so bird walks, Massasauga rattlesnake walks, um, wildflower ID walks, goat walks. There's going to be all sorts of things going on. We also have a variety of vendors, food vendors, artisan vendors, and as well as live music. We'll have live music from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Do you still have opportunities for vendors if they would be interested in participating? I believe so, yes. Okay. Um, and you can... Um, you can find out more at our website, celebratethebloom.com. Okay. Um, or you can always call the center as well. Are you in need of volunteers? Yes, I believe we could always use volunteers. Yeah, I'm thinking that you probably could, right? <laughs> yeah. Because every year you want this to grow and grow and mm -hmm. grow. And there's no admission for the event, right? No, it's, it is it's a free completely event. free. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to purchase some food or buy something from a, a, an artisan, right? for example, mm -hmm. right? right? And you did say, please remind us of the hours of the event. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, you did mention in that about an endangered species mm -hmm. that's known to, to the prairie. What was that again? It's the endangered Massasauga rattlesnake. And you never know. You might just learn a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition to all of the wonderful activities you have going on that day, there's the old schoolhouse that they could visit, too. 
Correct. And what's the name of the schoolhouse? Foltz Schoolhouse. All right. And uh, it's across Route 8, um, close on, on the side of the road of the old stone house. And that was a schoolhouse that was built in 1880 and held, held classes until 1963. And our friends group recently took it on and fully restored it to about the 1920 era. Yeah. So it is beautiful. It, 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 I want to see that. It sounds so fascinating. Great history. What a wonderful opportunity to, to see both the prairie and the old schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. Well, Brandy, good luck with your event. Thank you. And we hope that you're able to come and keep up the great work. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of The Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.